J is 2, version 2, zero, zero, 9 inch coil. We're just going to look at sensitive FT silencer 1, reactivity 1. See that 84 knot, boys? That's the minimum required to get rid of that old zinc gun. One nail and one silver dime. You see it? I'm sweeping from about eight and a half inches above this. Would this detector detect this in the ground at eight and a half inches in milder ground? Oh, maybe. All right. So I'm not gonna mess with the notch. Runs to 84. You see it there, right? Don't worry about the 22 part. It runs up to 84. Max frequency 40. What do you get? Nothing. And this is the only way you're going to detect this dime more so. You're never going to get it from over here with any detector. I don't think. 24 max frequency. It's shaky, it's hitting it. 14 max frequency. Two way signal. 89 comes in the window, 90. All right, changing max frequency back to 40. Notch. I'm going to leave it at max 40 and I'm going to start reducing this notch. Let's see what happens. 83. 82. Still sort of shaky. 81. Better signal. You see the meter there. Alright. Change the max frequency to 24. Run the notch back up to 84. I'm getting it a little bit, but boy, it's tough. 85 comes in there every now and then. Okay, let's drop the notch one point on this 24 max. Better. Drop it to 82. Better. Faster sweep probably allowed. You know, 84, 85, 86 in the meter. Going back to 14 max frequency. Whoops. We're going to see how high. We're going to go on up to 84. We heard it at 84 before. 85, 86, 87. Let's see, that's 88, 89, shaky, 88, all right, it gives you an idea running this machine, if you see something like that, what you would have to do with this machine, you couldn't really rely using 40 max on that thing right there, notching your detect. All right. Now we'll go back to about an 81 notch. We're going to go back to 40 max frequency. All right. And I'm going to go back to the notch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down here. Let's say you're not wanting to run iron tone on. So 
I'm notching out the iron range. Alright. So we're getting an 82. You get to hear that signal. Now, there's no iron tone in that signal. Smash this ground ballast button. Hear that? So that sounds clean, and you've got that low ID in there. Now, disclaimer here. Now, look, I don't know everything's going on with this ground balance button, but doing some comparisons out here with this detector, it's almost like the iron tone goes to level 10. Meaning if you're in a hunt program, for example, like that, you've got the iron volume like there's seven. Well, when you match that ground balance button, it's almost like it's going to a level 10. But it's easier for you to hear. See what I'm saying? You know you've done located the target, so you ain't going to mind maybe a blaring iron tone. So this is sort of like an audio response. Sort of like it's turning the audio response up, we'll call it, on the iron tone. So you can clearly hear that with that ground bias button in. You see what I've got there? So that would just tell you, uh-oh, pollution. Now that's no iron tone. Of course, you know, you're not going to get it more here. There's not even going to be any 45 degree sweeps in here where you're going to get that dime. I don't think that's going to conclude the video.